perspective to the point where boats can no longer dock. There just isn't enough water there. And uh, as you, you can see one boat that, that is docked there because the, the floating dock uh, has gone down way low, but nobody else can, can get into this harbor to dock. Uh, this is courtesy of our Fox affiliate KTTV <coughs> in Long Beach, California. Wow. Uh, and so, you know, for those who, and this picture doesn't show it all, but it, there are enormous uh, coves where, and harbors in Long Beach, California, where a lot of ships and boats uh, moor and dock. And some of those are going to be, I would imagine, sustaining some damage. Um, when the water recedes like that, uh, they're going to get stuck and their hulls are going to be damaged. Uh, and two, if the tsunami causes the reverse effect, uh, you may see some, some damage as well as, as the flooding uh, overtakes. And some of those, uh, you know, if they're tied down to a dock and the water comes in and comes in and comes in, it's, it's going to essentially flood the boat at some point in time as the, the mooring lines uh, and the dock lines begin to drag down the boats. But there it is. It's, uh, it's not exactly a sunny day, a bit of a cloud cover in Southern California, but um, they're feeling the effects of the tsunami as well. Let's go to Rick Reichmuth. Who